this is incredibly smooth. This is by far the best that's ever done that. Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving 12.3 video. We are headed into town for an appointment, and we're just gonna see how it does. This is a route, this is not a standard route, so we won't have that. To all the commenters who are new to my channel, I have very standard, very consistent test routes that I do not stray from. So if I if navigation makes a change, I will not allow that. Especially if it's last second. If it's a last second change like it did in my Aldi drive, then I will not allow that. It needs to stay in a consistent route, especially that's the route it started on, and then it changed last second as it was leaving the parking lot. That is not okay. Now if I'm on a route like this and it does that, I'll just let it do what it do what it wants to do. But on my standard test routes, it needs to go the same route every single time. Otherwise, it defeats the purpose of my test routes and wastes my time. And your time, for that matter. But yeah, also, shout out to the person who said sandals were unsafe. These are just for you. So yeah, <laughs> just hoping um, everyone is having a good day. We are, this will probably be out, I don't know, in a couple of days from now. I still have the GPS accuracy thing. So the same thing here, it didn't speed up to 45. And it's staying towards the right side of this lane right here, so it avoids all the debris that's over there. This is like this is really smooth. Now, what it's probably gonna do is try and merge on the highway, and then it's gonna change stacks, and then it's not gonna merge. And the person next to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the blinker. Now I'm gonna turn it on. Once they merge the stacks, this should work. I'm sure of it. So now we're basically, as far as I'm aware, we're on version 11. However, we have automatic speed control enabled. So it's kind of a hybrid of both. So version 11 didn't have the automatic speed control, but version 12 does. And when I get up to this construction zone, I'm gonna have to intervene. I'm gonna try and make it the way I don't have to disengage, but I will have to intervene. Did, did you guys see that? The the truck turned on its blinker and my car started braking based on the blinker. Now it's done some of that stuff before in version 11, but not quite like this. This is definitely new behavior of version 12, it seemed like. I've, I've not noticed that before. Now, it's interesting because we are on version 11 highway stack, so it's gotta be updated some. It's slightly different than the old version 11, but that seems new to me. ahead and make it get over in this lane over here as it's not going to do it because of the salt head keeping line again um, yeah, definitely intervene for speed I do <laughs> I'm not comfortable going this fast right here police cars to set, but they're going to sit right there, and then they'll be ready to fly up and pull you over. I said, you got a wide load, how is my car going to handle it? It's probably just going to... Okay, it's not that wide. It does stick over a little bit. I'm going to just pull up my car, so... Let's see if the car behind me is going to... Hopefully it doesn't make me get over. Yeah. Yeah, the, passing these trucks is always uh, challenging on this section of highway. It's probably safe to get over now. Yeah, I don't see another truck. See, this is where it needs to just go ahead and get over. But I think version 12 will fix that. Once it's a full version 12 highway stack, I think that will fix it. Now let's see how it does getting off the highway. I assume this is going to be the same until we get where that car is right there. Yeah, it does feel exactly the same as version 11. Now, right here is where it swapped over to version 12. Should 
stay in this lane. Good. So previous versions would swerve into that left lane, not version like the latest version of version 11, but some of the earlier versions would swerve over into that left lane over there. Okay, so what it did was very human-like right there. And I've noticed this before on my other drives. That it knew the light turned green, and before the brake lights in front of me went off, it already had released the brake on my side and was ready to start moving. And as soon as the brake lights turned off in the car in front of me, then it started moving. Very human-like. Because as a human, that's exactly, I would start creeping forward, expecting the car in front of me to start creeping forward. So far, pretty non-eventful. We'll see how it changes lanes here and see if it's gonna do a right on red. It's gonna stay. Okay. As a human, you would have just kept on swerving into the this lane here. It kind of swerved back to the left of the two lanes, and it was cautious because I've done this. When there was a car next to me, sometimes they would pull into my lane. So it was overly cautious going around that corner to make sure that truck wasn't going to pull into my lane. That was really good. I, I had almost pressed the accelerator pedal because previous versions would not it would break too long and then keep, not reaccelerate. But my car was very human-like. It braked just enough and reaccelerated after it knew that car was going to be out of my path. That was very human-like. And so is this speed right here. This is exactly what I would do. I would go 45, 50 back behind and then go about 40 in this section just because that's what traffic moves. And as, as we move on, it's starting to uh, slow down a little bit. which is fine because we're coming up to a stoplight up ahead. I very, very doubt you can see that stoplight this far ahead yet. But the fact that cars are slowing down in front of us means it's more efficient. This car is going to be, one day it's going to be so efficient, it's going to be able to just glide to every stop and have maximum efficiency when it's driving. Good slow down here. It could have been slightly better in my opinion, a little bit smoother, but still a good slow down. This road is 35 mile an hour, and there are usually police cars waiting here to um, make sure no one's speeding on this road. So this is a road you don't want to be going 40 on. I say this wasn't a standard test route, but I used to have an appointment um, on a weekly basis in town, and this is the exact route it would go. Um, it's that I would just turn off in one of these roads right here. And yeah, so actually I'll put this under that standard test route so you compare old versions all the way up until about right here, and then it should be exactly the same. But this is doing really well. It's like the fact that it's still creeping right now and it's still moving forward. The fact that it didn't jam on the brake for this van pulling out, it could have been a little bit more assertive crossing traffic there. Well, otherwise, that did extremely well. Best version ever, for sure. I'm not sure why my car waited so long to start moving forward. Probably because of the red light or something. Okay, I'm tapping the accelerator because they can definitely go. I just, one, I'm slightly late for my appointment, <laughs> and two, um, two, they should just do a right on red right there. It's probably being overly cautious. 
So yeah, going 25 on this road is good. No one, no one goes 20 on this road. Um, you are very much holding up traffic. Everyone, even grandmas going down this road, go above 20. This is a very, very appropriate speed for this road. This is exactly what I would be going on this road. Hopefully we make it all the way through all the lights. Okay, that's good. Awesome. Barely making it. Oh, we didn't make this one. So something to know as a human, I just noticed the light turn red right there. And something I know from experience is that cars will run that red light for whatever reason. I don't know why I've seen it happen. So cars will run that red light. Oh, this is unfortunate. Um, actually it needs to be in the, no, this is, this is correct. I think So notice how it's waiting not to go in the intersection because it knows it knows the road right up there is blocked. That's good behavior. That's what you're supposed to do is not go into the intersection until you know it's clear. That That's like a very human-like behavior. The fact that it learned that from watching other people in videos is pretty impressive. keeping a distance here a little bit more distance than I would keep just because I'm trying to get make sure I get through the light yeah and it actually got in the correct lane this time previous versions would always not get in the correct lane right here you have to be in the right of the two turn lanes and let's see if it's not going to turn the blinker on because it shouldn't it doesn't need a blinker here and every other version would turn the blinker on and did not turn the blinker on this this is the correct blinker. It's because it's turning on the right blinker over here. So this is the green light. This is incredibly smooth. This is by far the best it's ever done that. I don't know if I have... I don't have a standard test route. I've done this route before. Going to a doctor's appointment. But, um... Yeah, that, that was the best it's ever done for that, that whole maneuver right there. Taking a left and taking a immediate right. And like this slowly creeping up on the car like that so it just it doesn't immediately get up to the car at the light it just you know hyper miles if you will that should help efficiency quite a lot actually doing stuff like that that's what i that's how i drive to get maximum efficiency i always coast up to the light instead of like getting up to the car immediately now i don't think it's gonna get oh there's a truck on my side of the road let's see what it does right here Awesome, okay. Make sure I pull in, it's right here is the lot. Yeah, it's not gonna pull in. Shit. <laughs> okay, well that's my fault because I let it pull a little bit past. And um, yeah. Patient parking only, yep, that's me. Okay. Um, well, I think that was a long enough video, everyone. I think that's doing great. I might do one on the way back. Um, but if not, I will see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching. I got zero disengagements and the lowest amount of interventions on this drive yet. Love it. Bye, everyone.